surprised England plenty of times against the, the French scrum in Paris ahead of the World Cup and the breakdown as well. Piper very hot on the breakdown and it's the French who are struggling in that area at the moment. However, from this attacking lineup, chance for their first try. It's Picamol and Parra in combination and then Gitoum joins in as well. Uh, Romania in trouble because of the work that France have done right at the front of that and they've had to come in illegally to stop it. All started from the initial throw. France will try and regenerate. Para, Tales. Oh, and then what's that hint of obstruction there, but we're going to come back for Captain. something that Jaco Pipe has seen. Well, it's serious. It's going to be a yellow card for somebody. It's a very good ball. It's gaining momentum. This player is tackling the legs. That's cynical. It's Paulika Eon. Yep. He's got the look of consternation on his face. He's off for 10 minutes, which will take him pretty much up to half time. You cannot tackle you the, the choice of yellow cards there. Fafana got taken out when he was running through after the little chip ahead. First offence, though. France will go again. Just look at the speed that France are trying to get the ball clear of those yellow shirts by passing it back. Louis Picamoles on that last ball actually took steps back and everyone hammered in in between the, in the gap that he'd just left. So they will set it up once again. Romania will try and get it on the floor. Use it! Drago looks interested. Para goes the other way, though, and this is Gitoun stretches and scores. Sofian Gitoun, the man who's come in tonight for Johan Uge, whose World Cup is sadly over already. And it's Gitoun who steadies a few French nerves after half an hour and scores the first try. A smart play by Parry, sent everyone else to the other side. He wanted to create a one-on-one -on -one between Gatoon and Parry's opposite number. Surajou. He does really well to plant both those feet. There's no danger of them sliding once he's got them planted. And he knows he's near enough, but he can just get that long reach, good grip strength on the ball. Smart finish. He's only got a handful of caps so far. He's injured for the bulk of the Six Nations. French commentators sitting alongside, not entirely sure what he's doing in the squad, to be honest. I think it was one of those decisions that Philippe Saint-André took that divided the rugby nation. But he has got a much-needed score here, ten minutes to half-time. It was a little bit of a wobbly one, but it, um, it cannoned in off the post, and it's a seven-point score. That's just how he plants his feet there. He, does, he resists the temptation to push off that right boot, because he knows there's the danger of the foot going into touch.